Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips and tricks related to mathematics. So students today I have picked out few number analogy questions which are asked in many of the entrance exams okay. So the first one over here is what we have if 8 is coming out to be 28 then 25 is to what okay. So now what you have to do in all of these cases is you just have to find the relation between 8 and 28. So now if you look closely, you multiply 8 into 3 and then you add 4 to it. So you will get the answer which is what? 28. Similarly, what we'll do is we'll multiply 7, 25 into 3 plus 4. So 25 into 3 gets you what? 75. Plus 4 will get you what? 79. So option A is our answer. Students, I would like to remind all of you all that if you like the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Also, don't forget at the end, I'm going to put up a DIY question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section. Okay, so now over here, this one looks a bit tricky because the number given over here is 315 and then which is equals to 15 or which is is to 15 and then we need to find what is 45 is to. Okay, so here if you look closely, see when you have 3, 1, 5, finding a relation between them looks a bit tri tricky. So if you see, if I multiply 3 into 1 gets you 3, into 5 will get you what 15. So this is what your answer is coming out to be, right? So here what you should do is next is 4 into 5, answer is option C which is 20. Okay, now over here, see this one is a bit tricky and <laughs> a lot of my students messed up in this one. Because see what they have given over here is 4 is to 9 then 25 is to what? So now obviously this is what 2 square is to 3 square. Okay so now 5 square maximum students made it what 6 square. Why? Because what the thing is 2 then plus 1 will get you 3. So 5 plus 1 will should get you 6 so 6 square. So they mark the answer what option A as the answer and that was wrong. Why I'll tell you, when you look at the overall series, the overall series is of what prime numbers. So the next prime number which comes after 5 is what 7, so 7 square. So option C is your answer for this particular question. Please pay attention whenever you have these kind of questions, you have to look at the entire series. Many times, <coughs> many times you have to look at the entire series to get the final answer, okay. So now the next one is what? 1 is to 16, then 2 is to what? So if you look closely, see whenever we have in the series numbers such as 1 and 0, it gets a bit difficult. But uh, trust me, it's not that difficult, honestly. So what you do is, this is what 4 squared. So 1 plus 3, then you put a square. So similarly, 2 plus 3, and then you take, take a square. So 2 plus 3 is 5, and 5 square is what? 25. So option D is our answer. So now for your DIY, I want you all to tell me 1, 2, 1 is coming out to be 2. Then what is 144 coming out to be? Okay. I will not give you options for this one. You can give your answers in the comment section. The correct one, I will put a heart to it. So you all know which one is the right one. Okay. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.